You're welcome to this lesson. In this video, consider a pentagonal plane of size 30 mm is resting in the vertical plane. The side opposite to the corner in the horizontal plane is parallel at 2 and above the horizontal plane and inclined at 45 degrees to the vertical plane. Draw its three principal views. So we'll start with this side. We'll bring out the pentagon on the side which is 30 millimeters. So we'll mark, draw a line and mark this point A and measure 30 millimeter and draw the internal angle of 108 degree using a protractor then extend the light so that they'll be connected at this point we'll get the various points a b c d and e So after getting this point, we draw our XY plane, the horizontal plane, which is XY. So after getting this, we project the line vertically from each of the points to the horizontal plane XY. So that will get our top view. So here, A dash, B dash, C dash. D dash E dash are the top view. So now the question says that it is 30 millimeters above the horizontal plane. So get a point which will mark A dash E dash. Then we we'll get the distance which is 35 millimeter parallel to the horizontal plane. Then the distance A prime E prime to C prime. We will take that measurement and describe an arc where it touches that line. So from that point, we we'll connect to our starting point, which will give us the required distance. So after doing that, we we'll measure the distance a prime a prime to b dash d dash and transfer the distance to the line so now we have it in this way then we're going to extend or project these lines horizontally that's from the front view so extend this line this way then we have it sent down this way so that have a top view so where these lines meet a dash and a dash B dash and B dash where they meet will connect them then we'll have a front view so after getting this point we'll transfer it to the next part you see it is inclined at 45 degrees to the vertical plane now we'll have the angle drawn the line drawn at 45 degrees then mark a point which is a starting point which is a then the distance ae will now mark on the line there so after getting it we we'll measure each of the distance from e to d and a to d to get the point d on that view which is 45 degrees to the vertical plane. We repeat the same for other with reference to the line AE. That's what we're using as a reference point. Now the distance of the point A to the required to the new point and the distance E to the new point. So we'll do it so that we can be able to get all of them now that's how to get the required point after getting it will project the lines vertically so that they will meet the lines coming from the 
top view. They will have a side view. At this point, we we'll connect where they meet both A dash, B dash, C dash, and E dash where they meet. Now, after getting it, we'll now to get the third view, we'll get the angle, we'll radiate it so that the the front view can be able to come out on the right side. Can be able to have the right side of our projection. So we we project it this way. Then we radiate the lines using our compass this way. Then we continue so we'll connect all the points where they meet, then we will now connect them, mark the points, then connect where they meet. With this, we're able to get the three views on of our projection so we have the top view the front view and the side view thank you for watching this video and sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos